should now have a Discord. Come join the community and let's discuss some big ideas. That's, this has been debunked, and you can see how. The, there is no 24-hour sun, that's, that's why. The, the, we're being dominated by this kind of Jesuit, Freemason lockdown I, of academia. And, I'm, and I'm still... I'm still just confused though why they wouldn't just use complete CGI because it seems to feel silly to film something like this and then use post processing um, with clouds and things like that and then do you reuse the same clouds? Keep, keep, keep why, going because it's, it's not got to the bit yet. I'm just going to turn off this yellow lamp here because I look like death wound up <laughs> yeah, so, um i responded to the youtube comment section for that for the guy my acquaintance online acquaintance um brian grosman mm -hmm. so yeah he sent me the links to your site that's the, and that's why i made the comments and then you you responded to my comments and that's why i'm here just mm -hmm. Um, well, so, I hope I hope I wasn't um, I hope it wasn't too rude. I get I get a lot of um, no. comments. Uh, some people I'm I'm pretty um, cordial with, and others I, I lose my temper yeah. with. So I hope I hope you're one of the good ones. Uh, yeah, like no, I didn't. We I any, didn't. Yeah, we wouldn't have any trouble with that. It's just um, so I, I'm on the same page as Brian, but I've been I've been at it for a bit longer, so I, that. I um I wouldn't call myself a flat earther, but I'm I'm a skeptical person, and and, and having studied this um, subject for, well, I mean it was it was big in the internet on YouTube, uh, mm -hmm. from about 2014 to 2017, and that's when yeah. you could you could type stuff into the search engine and come up with all these scientific tests and things. Just it was just a really kind of enjoyable subject to study <clears throat> and I actually feel like I learned quite a lot from doing that but um, I understand how divisive it is you know for people that mm. they, they just don't even want to go there because it seems mm. to them so illogical and a lot of the problems is um, there's, a, there's a lot of straw a straw man argument you know what that is you know it's like so someone yeah they, yeah yeah and that's what a lot of the flat earth argument is about. It's, it's a false understanding of, of of what I believe for this flat earth model. And it is it was only a model. It's like a mathematical mm. con construct, as is the globe earth, believe it or not. And mm. so my my argument is to anybody who discusses this with me, you know, I'm, I'm so I'm very skeptical. And I, lo I love science, proper science, not not theoretical science, but empirical science okay so mm -hmm. that the facts on the ground are there's no experiment that you can do um that can prove um that earth curvature you cannot measure earth curve and you cannot measure earth rotational velocity that i mean einstein admitted that and that that, that to me was the what got me interested i said okay right, let's have a look at this and, and sure enough you, you can search all you like but you won't find any that's why we didn't actually have proof of the of the curved ball earth until the sputnik or you know when they were putting up these very high projectiles and stuff with cameras and they came back with apparent uh you know it's like an image and to me, an image or video is not proof of anything. And mm. so, when it all when you all boil it all boils down, you know, to what have we got? What what can you can you prove to me the ball? And I cannot prove to you the, the flat. It's just it's 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 more of like um. So remember that photograph I sent you of the longest distance photography mm -hmm. image. It's just a mm -hmm. a, a contest. It's the sun. It's the sun rising, and and mm -hmm. we've got this huge expanse and this mountain in the background that's something like two hundred and seventy-five miles away. And technically, mm -hmm. if if you compare that to Google Earth, it's behind the curve. So, mm -hmm. but people will say, "Oh, it's it's light bending round the round the curve," and and it's that's not science to say something like that. Or, or they'll say, "Oh, it's it's a mirage, but it's not upside down." 
it's not it's not a mirage and then um, looking, yeah so this well is um it, it's it, so would you say that your if, if i can just try and to i'm just trying to make sure i understand you so i'm going to try and repeat kind of your perspective tell me if i'm steel manning your position mm -hmm. is that there's um there's this flat earth model uh that you subscribe to however a lot of people are making um claims about flat earth that are um like a oh, straw man really? type um yeah. they're not they're not really they're not really what you subscribe to so you wouldn't necessarily call yourself a flat earther however you you are very interested and lean in the direction of the earth is flat is that yeah yeah i'm also a biblical scholar so I'm, okay. I'm seeing that the Bible is a flat, has lots of flat earth references, and, and and actually the Hebrews who wrote that book, where that was their flat earth cosmology. There seems to be mm -hmm. no doubt about that. Is uh is it's um it's a it's well I mean mentioning the the two like biblical scholarship and um and science and and this is a huge topic and um. And like I said, I'm, I'm willing to engage um, with you in this conversation um, because I, I, I think um, that it's, it's it's something worthy to to kind of talk about. Um, I'm I'm curious though, like, uh, so, like, what if, if I was to ask you, like, why why do you think the Earth is flat? Do you have like a is it is it a collection of things that you've observed, or is it something that uh, yeah. Like, is there one thing that you kind of you mentioned before? Uh, sorry, that um, that we can't prove a, a, a spherical Earth via science. Uh, well, we well, can't. We don't. We can't have evidence. Is that correct? I'm saying that you have to use NASA to produce okay. evidence of a of a globe Earth. If you were to just use um, like you can use a mathematical model to prove it. That's what I'm saying. You've got your ball earth. It's a mathematical model, a heliocentric, you know, mm -hmm. or, or, or that. And you've also got the, the flat earth model, which is, I can explain that to you, but it, it's got problems. Well, it's got pro I'm saying the flat earth model does have problems. Okay. And, yeah. And um, so if you were to, if, if you were to, um, if, to give you yourself a confidence scale between a spherical earth and a flat earth say spherical earth is on one side and and yeah. flat earth is on the other side how far like where would you be in there yeah. oh, would you be I'm like 50 50 or would you be right over to the flat earth side or i think i know for a fact that, that it's not a, it's not a sphere and we are not moving like we're not okay. rotating and we're not orbiting the sun to like for instance um i don't know if you know this already that the the sun in the, in the flat earth model is only 30 miles in diameter mm, well and it's uh, a thousand, I, I, miles up. i've actually asked a few flat earthers for like a, a model of the mm. of the flat earth and i i don't really get a consistent like yeah. um it's because we've only just started you okay. know this yeah the ball earth people they've had 500 years to work this out and and they didn't have it bang on first time you know they've changed mm -hmm. the distance of the sun over over the millennia, over the hundreds of years that have suggested this. And um, we, yeah, so I I I, uh, I I'm curious if I'm curious how much weight you put into um, your biblical scholarship. So um, you, let's say that you were to reread the Bible for example, and you're actually, for some reason, you're mistaken, and it actually pointed to a spherical Earth. I know that's not a real hypothetical, but let's say it did. Yeah. And let's say you were convinced that the Earth was now, the, the biblical cosmology was a spherical Earth um, rotating around the sun. I know that's not the case, but let's say it is. Mm -hmm. um, would, that, would that shift your perspective on the flat Earth, or would you still go with the science? Yeah, so I've studied the Bible now. It's 13 years of intense study. And what that involves is it's called word study. And so every every word in, in the Bible has a number. Yeah, and you can look that number up and, and it goes either to the Greek or to the Hebrew. And then you can find okay. the definite the definition of that word. How it, some words have more more meaning, like multiple meanings, depending mm -hmm. on the context, stuff like that. Then you have to look at the 
it's the historicity. That's the that's the historical context that the that the particular text that you're looking at is from and who it's what it's about, who it's to, mm -hmm. you know. And other other things have to come together to try and get an understanding of what these scriptures are on about, right? So in 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 the Hebrew there's words for sphere, there's a words for ball, okay? They're never mm -hmm. used when they're talking about the earth. Mm -hmm. It talks about a circle of, of the earth. Well, mm -hmm. a pizza is a circle, yeah? Mm -hmm. And like the word horizon is a Greek word, and it means um, limit, limiting... Um, what does it mean again? It's just like the, the limits of your vision. When you stand up and look out with your eyes all around you, you're only seeing about two and a half miles. Mm -hmm. but generally, because you're six foot off the ground. That, mm -hmm. that's, that's the kind of limitations of your eye with perspective, angular resolution. That's how, how, how many pixels you've got in your eyeball to actually focus on stuff. Yeah, you've, There's a limit there. You know, you don't see forever. Um, mm -hmm. because, because, yeah. And then there's things like um, atmospheric lensing, where things mm -hmm. like become distorted, flipped upside down, magnified, shrunk, all these things play a part in what you're actually seeing where you are on earth and so yeah so, so okay, i'll give you an example what they teach in school and on television is that when a boat will sail away from you you're standing on the beach but the, the, the water's lapping at your feet you'll see a boat disappearing over the horizon bottom first but mm -hmm. as if there's a hill of water there right that's mm -hmm. what they teach and that's not what's happening. If you see that boat disappear, if you go and get a pair of big binoculars, right, you can bring that boat back into view because you, you've increased your angular resolution. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, and they don't teach that. You, you get taught angular res resolution and perspective w when you study art, if you're going to paint pictures. And if you look at all of the pictures of, of boats on oceans, n none of them are, have got their bottoms over the curve i mean this is people just imagine that they think that that is what they're seeing because that's what their eyes perceive but that's not what that's not the reality do you know what i'm saying so that that, that difference between teaching lies about this boat going over a hill of water and then the truth of it which is things shrink down as they get away from you and the, it just appears that the bottom is disappearing first you know it's, it's, it's these are mm. provable things that we can show with science versus mm -hmm. lies that the television you know like lazy um well uh so in regards to my my question about how much weight you would put into oh, the bible uh, if the bible said the earth yeah. is a sphere would that mm -hmm. shift your perspective on the science of the flat earth the science you just mentioned it, well I know for a fact that you can't do that. You, you're not able to show me scripture that says it's a, a ball earth, a rotating. Yeah. It's the exact Yeah, no, I call, I, I'm, we're, we're in agreement there. I'm, I'm more mm. just asking if it did say that, would it shift your confidence? I'm trying to understand mm. um, think, how much weight you put into the science versus how much weight you put into yeah. the... Well, to me, question. science, to my science, this is um, empirical science, was born it, in the Christian method. And it was mm -hmm. these early early monks and, and priest class that were able to have libraries and, and uh, are, you know, apparently the clock, you know how we've got this 12 and, and two hands, long hand, short hand, that was a model of the flat earth. The moon is the short yeah. hand and the, the long hand, and, and that's how they revolve. You imagine that the long hand is the sun and it would be a tiny sun tiny localized sun going round clockwise and, and the moon is the slower hand that's going round. <clears throat> these this was developed by these medieval monks <clears throat> as some kind of model to the understanding. They never actually I mean this idea of a ball earth, yes the Greeks did formulate that uh, allegedly that but, but there's no proof of that's what I'm saying. There's you cannot actually prove to me without this third party, this NASA the military industrial complex 
<clears throat> and I've looked into the, to the moon hoax. I'm, I don't believe we went to the moon. <clears throat> what about um, competing organizations? Like, wouldn't wouldn't the uh, Russian yeah. space agency? Yeah, because know... they're all they're all in it together. It's the it's the money power. Every 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 country, even North Korea, is in it. <clears throat> every country that uses the every country that uses the 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 usury money system that we've got this debt slavery. There's only two countries in the world that don't have that. I think that's Iran. So, Iran. so are you saying that? Um, just so I understand, so you're saying North Korea and Russia and America and South Korea are all actually secretly working together up up at the top. As, well, yeah, yeah. So there's um, well, it's all just theatre. You know, this Cold War thing. It was, it was. It's just like fear porn to have the masses demanding big government to okay. solve these big problems but the big problems are not problems they're, they're just um organized by this kind of elite money power class uh, that, that's able to manipulate us with the media mm -hmm. that's why yeah and so the, the moon thing yeah and atom h bombs atom bombs i don't actually believe are real i think they're just again it was a end of the second world war a technique to, I mean, look at today with, with this COVID thing, everybody's fearing this, this invisible enemy, this COVID-19 virus. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it, it's not real. It's, it's okay. actually, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if you're familiar with germ theory versus terrain theory. Yeah. I'm not, I, 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 do, I am aware that there are some people who do reject the germ theory of disease, but I don't know, yeah. I haven't looked further into it than that, yeah. Well, again, there's no proof of, of viruses. They, they, they've never isolated a virus, you know, under a microscope. And it's all just theoretical science. It's just they tell, they tell these stories and um, people buy it. And, well... Would you, would you say that... Um, so, um, if we had two competing ideas, like from the past, so, for example, you said that the... You mentioned that the Greeks uh, came up with this spherical idea of, of the Earth, and but you don't necessarily buy that. How do you determine the difference between something like a claim like that versus a, a claim like clocks were invented by biblical scholars for the flat Earth um, model? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure yeah. if that's the uh, correct. Well, you a could correct, say that. Uh, the, yeah, they were just sort of. Um, so. <clears throat> I don't suppose you could just repeat that question again. It? Yeah. Um, so, like, let's say you have two competing com claims. Um, yeah. One is a, is a claim that seems to back the model of the flat Earth, a historical claim, or if, or a uh, or some sort of scientific claim. And then you have another scientific claim or a historical claim that seems to back the spherical model. How do you determine the different? Like, how do you determine which is is correct? Yeah. Without, so without just without just appealing to well I'm a flat earther so therefore I believe mm. X or I believe in the sphere model so therefore I believe yeah X. so yeah the logic of it is um do you remember that guy Carl Sagan mm -hmm. he was he was on big in the sort of television world in the seventies and he produced this series of about the universe about the world mm -hmm. cosmos yeah that's it cosmos so I think it's Eratosthenes he's the one that suggested that initially. The earth, and, he, and he guessed the circumference of the earth and he, and he was fairly close, right? Well, <clears throat> Carl Sagan comes on with this piece of cardboard, you know, like a couple of feet square rectangle. And he's, he's got these two sticks poking straight up. Mm -hmm. And with the sun shining on, on these two sticks, when you, when you bend it when you, and he made the curve, he was able to show these shadows, two different shadows from two different points mm -hmm. <clears throat> and that's the story that, that so he was able to look down a well at noon and see the sun shining down at the bottom of the well and at the same time a thousand miles away that uh, wasn't possible because mm -hmm. of this curved earth right well i think i think get... i've seen the remake with neil degrasse tyson who does the okay. same thing so you but the thing is you with a with the flat earth with the flat flat piece of cardboard not not twisted you can achieve the same shadows with a smaller localized sun. So again, you've got one experiment 
shows the truth, and another experiment shows the truth, but they're two different mathematical models. That, that's all. So, so how would how would you determine? How do you choose? Like, what's, how do you choose which is the yeah. which is like the the correct model? Well, that's it. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find what is the logical. Just just because everybody's saying that it's a globe Earth, and well, look at the NASA's already been to the moon, blah blah blah. That's not proof. Mm. That's not enough. Given the fact that I've seen NASA's all the all of the hoaxing that they're doing, and the international mm. fake station and all that, you know, I'm. I. Uh, what what um, I, I'm 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 trying I'm I'm under, I think I'm understanding where you're coming from. Uh, in that you. Uh, you're correct me if I'm wrong, but you're you're feeling as though there's a lot of bogus science in NASA, and they're trying they're deliberately lying to to people. Um, yeah. Is there a, is there uh, is there an organization you do trust? Yes, I, I trust. Um, you know. Well, I mean, I trust Jesus. I mean, it sounds a bit people that don't believe in. In that, they'll just think that's nuts to believe in like a, an invisible man or something. But the idea of Jesus, he, as as I understand him, he, you know, the truth will set you free. That's what I'm trying to find. I'm trying to get the truth, getting to the bottom of all these lies. And I see lies all the time, mm -hmm. pumped out by the media, nonstop, 24 hours a day, you know, really degenerate stuff. They want us to be zombies so that they can loot us. That's what that's mm -hmm. how I see it. And so I, I, I threw my television out in 2012. Yeah. And I uh, <clears throat> I like this fly earth idea because it makes sense. It does actually make sense. And it's in the Bible, you know, this um, world it talks about, it doesn't talk about other worlds. It doesn't talk about planets infinite space that all seems to have been invented as a foil against the biblical idea so instead of okay. having the world you know god's footstool that's how it's described right there you're right in the center of the universe and everything matters right mm -hmm. versus the big bang it's a big accident a big explosion in a dustpan mm. we're nothing, nothing but star daft and yeah and, and yeah. nothing nothing really matters in fact, we mm. can get killed at any moment by an asteroid, you know. Mm. Again, it's fear porn, and people are disorientated by that. And even trying to visualize the, the orbital mechanics, you know, of the sun, how we're revolving and how we're revolving around the sun, and all that is really difficult to, cut, to try and... Where's the moon, you know, in, in that model? Nobody can really get a picture of that. The, the flat mm -hmm. Earth model is very, very simple to understand. Like the clock face, you know, when the sun is rotating around. I, I live in the northern hemisphere, so in the summer times, you know, it, the the sun rises at four in the morning and sets at half ten at night. So there's only mm -hmm. like four hours of darkness, and it's not really dark. So it's like the sun, on a record player, moves in towards the center, and then it goes back out. So it's yeah, yeah. I know, I I, uh, I have um. I have um, McDonald heritage, so Highlands clan of Scots, and so I, we, we took a trip up to Isle of Skye uh, in 2016, and it was stunning. It was our first trip to overseas to Europe, and um, and yeah, we, we went in winter, and it was yeah a lot of um, a lot of um, like darkness, um, like really early. So like the sun was like would just come up um, just at the on the oh. horizon and, and disappear. Yeah. yeah, it was really bizarre for us. Living mm -hmm. in Australia, uh, so uh, are, you, are you in Brisbane? Then was that, was my guess. I right? live on the sun. I live on the Sunshine Coast, which is a couple of hours hours north of Brisbane. But it's a it's a more it's a it's a small smaller type town. But it's turning more into a city. Um, yeah. Okay, I've so got a friend. Australia. I've got a friend lives in Sydney. In oh, okay. Malibra. Yeah, Mal Malibra. Oh, yeah. The, I went to university in Sydney uh, for a little while. Um, so, with um, with, with the 
it, it seems like, um, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like that, um, le, le, like, let's say, I don't, I don't think this is possible, but like, if you lost your faith in the Bible or lost your faith in, in God, that the flat earth model would, would also crumble. Is that, is that true? Well, like, would you, the Bible just, just references, the, whenever it references the earth, remember I sent you that post on YouTube. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and I said that the devil took Jesus up to the top of a very tall mountain yeah. and showed him all of the all of the cities on the earth. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. you couldn't see all of the cities on the earth if it was a sphere. Could you? So, do you That's think? Was, yeah, yeah. Was, so, do you think when when uh, when it says that in one of the gospels that Satan took uh, Jesus up to a tall mountain that he could see every city on earth? Mm -hmm. Do you think? That he that it was literal that he did see every city on earth. What yeah, do you think just, it was like? No, I was just joking with you. That's some kind of analogy. It, okay, but but when the, the when the earth is being talked about, it's not it's not a ball. It's always the circle of of the earth. Yeah, and yeah, um, yeah. Would, would would the because so, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of wondering where to take this conversation because I am interested in both the, the, the biblical scholarship stuff and I'm also interested in the, in, this, in the science. But more importantly, and this is something that um, Brian left a few um, comments on my YouTube page recently saying that I, I wasn't listening to him when I was having a conversation and things like that and that I wasn't trying to learn about the flat earth. And I just want to be very clear with you now. I'm not actually trying to... Um, I, I'm trying to understand the thought process underneath. Yeah, the and, and, I'm, has. And, I'm not, and I'm not trying to convert you either. Like, yeah, 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 and I'm not trying to deconvert you or anything. No, either. Um, I understand you're just trying to get to the bottom of it. It's like diff it's, well, I mean, it's, it's difficult to it's, understand. It's, why it's not even. Like, it's hmm. not even about getting to the bottom of it because if if I was having a conversation with someone I agreed with, in fact, I, I have done this. Where you know I've, I've asked them a question about something that I agree with and they agree with, they didn't know I agree with it. I'll ask the same questions because it's it's interesting for me to understand how people arrive at their their beliefs. Do you know what I mean? Not necessarily what the beliefs are themselves, but how they arrive at those beliefs. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it, that was one of the main things that, that convinced me is that. There's no actual scientific device, like you know, like a theodolite or, or, or something for you know triangulating and, and, and measuring this curvature. Mm -hmm. So you know the formula is eight inches per mile squared, which is basically a, like an exponential curve, as mm -hmm. you know from a flat line the Earth would curve away exponentially until it got to the equator, and then it... <clears throat> well. There's nothing there to, to prove it. You couldn't. You could just argue with me all day about it. But, you know, mm. then you can go to NASA and say, "Look, here's a picture of the Earth from space, and or something." But that even NASA admit that these ball Earth pictures that they've got they're from composites. They take strips, mm. allegedly, with their satellites, which I think are high alt high altitude balloons, by the way. Okay. Yeah, and so um, yeah. How how could we how could we as two lay people who don't let's say we we don't we both don't trust NASA, um, and I'm an atheist and you're a Christian. I'm, I'm assuming you identify as a Christian. Or well, yeah, I can understand. I I listened to your video explaining that why you chose mm. to, and I can totally understand where you're coming from because that version of Christianity that you were embedded in, that that mm -hmm. is Judeo Christianity. That's where Jesus is a Jew. Well, I, mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not of that school. I, I believe okay. Jesus was a Nordic phenotype racial separatist. You understand okay. that? Mm -hmm. And and the, the the Israelites, the tribes, the twelve tribes, thirteen tribes, were today's European people, mm. the Celtic people. Just of, just uh, just to just to pipe in there, I didn't believe in Jesus because. I had had any type of I didn't even have an understanding of 
his heritage at all, nor did I care, to be honest. I, I, I've yeah. no, I have no interest in, in race or heritage, to, to be honest. Um, mm. It's usually been at the back of my mind, for like not really even at the back of my mind, sorry. Um, but I converted to Christianity because I had a really powerful the experience that I couldn't explain. And it filled me with a lot of purpose and hope and, yeah. and, and, and love. So, uh, I mean, I could... Um, you know, like I, I like there's always there's a lot of people said that I wasn't truly a Christian, even though, you know, I did things like I spoke in tongues and I did the, um, you know, I had miraculous things happen uh, that I would say happened in church, um, uh, or at least felt like miracles anyway. So it's, it's, um, it's hard to, it was hard for me to deny those experiences. Um, but I eventually came to realize that those experiences could happen with other religions. So that's, yeah that's why okay. i didn't put a truth claim to him anymore because uh, to me that judeo christianity is the great apostasy mentioned in the book of revelation that in the end days there'll be a falling away which is the apostasy um from mm -hmm. the true path of christianity the way and and that's not what's being sold today in the churches the 99 percent of modern churches do not teach covenant theology which is actually what the bible teaches covenant theology is that it's a it's really an exclusive it's like a contract you know if you have a child say and and your name goes on 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 your will and all of your belongings and wealth goes to your child well that's that's a contract that's, that's a testament okay nobody else is is included in that it might be cruel you know you, your neighbors don't get any of your goodies no it's just your son okay that's you want it that way that's so it's the same with the Bible. It's a covenant theology exclusively with the seed of Jacob Israel, the man mm -hmm. who had 12 tribes to, to three women. And it's become spiritualized and universalized over the last 2000 years to become this mm -hmm. mishmash of crazy doctrine. You know, I mean, idiocy on, on, on the highest level, like for instance, the God, God made the world in six days. There are people that actually believe that God was like a magician and he just in, within six days made the earth. The word day in the original is eon. So God made the world in six eons, six epics. That mm -hmm. that's makes more sense, doesn't it? Because that's what it says. So we're getting taught from our pulpits this drivel and people just lap it up because it's, like it's like a kind of club. If you're in these... Christian churches, it's a back slapping club, you know, and you do you feel lovey dovey and people I'm, I'm not knocking these people, I, well I am, but I mean, they're, they're just, they're missing the mark they're, mm -hmm. they're sinning, they're eating ham sandwiches when it says in the Bible it's, a, it's an abomination and they'll mm -hmm. say, oh, but Jesus died for our sins, no Jesus died for Israel's sins past sins, it doesn't say that he, people that are born after Jesus' death they're not covered. We're under judgment. We're awaiting judgment. So these these so, little details. So, make, mm. so how like let's say like uh, um, let's say me as a me as a uh, me as an atheist and you as a Christian. How do we? Is there anything that we can do as lay people without trusting NASA that to test if the Earth is flat or a globe? Yeah, I was just going to say that you know when I do talk about my religious understanding is I get on a lot better with atheists than I do with Christians because the Christians okay. are so so stiff-necked so you know the King James only for example they'll say mm -hmm. <clears throat> they'll say if it's not in the King James then it doesn't count and the thing is there's thousands and thousands of translational errors in the King James mm -hmm. and yeah so and I can respect the fact that you're atheist. This doesn't mean to say that you don't believe in, um, that you won't be made aware of this real Christianity, the one I'm trying to explain to you about mm -hmm. the covenant theology, because you are an Israelite, believe it or not. Well, you've got the potential to be only if you keep the law, which you probably, the law includes keeping the, um, the feast days and stuff like that. I, I don't even do that. I know about it, but it takes a lot to follow that path. I mean, that's what I'm saying. The churches are like these huge, big, wide highways, smooth, 
the hundreds of people can walk down abreast, you know, the easy way. But that Jesus says, you know, the way to to this understanding is it's hard, single file, rugged, steep precipices. You know, it's not an easy, not an easy thing to become a Christian. So you have to define well, what Christian hmm. means, and and uh, well, that's, I can understand your atheism. Yeah. Um... And just to be just to be clear um, on what my atheism is, it's um, I don't necessarily. I only use that word because it makes it easy for people to understand that yeah. I don't. I'm not convinced of a God belief. Really, I don't. If I was convinced of a God, if you if you convince me of a God belief, I would no longer be an atheist. But I don't put too much weight into the atheist's yeah. word or the crowd or anything. Well, but for instance, yeah, Karl just, Marx. Just, yeah, Karl Marx said. That, um, atheism begins where communism begins, or communism begins where atheism begins. Karl Marx, yeah. So you got to be careful by using that atheist thing. It's a divisive term. You can just be mm. like open to suggestion. That's that's the well, way. Well, the, the way the, how have. I would how I would describe myself is I'm not currently convinced of the existence of any god or gods mm -hmm. by the claims of any or or, or by or, or necessarily by the claims of any one religion. Um, so there might be some things that are certain religions that are true and stuff, but I'm not necessarily convinced. How, but just just to just to get back, is there on, <clears throat> on topic? Is there anything that we yeah. can do, an atheist and a Christian sitting here now, to test uh, if the Earth is flat or a globe? Yeah. <clears throat> so if if most if I ask most people, I'll say, you know, how can you prove that the Earth is a ball? Mm -hmm. They'll say, oh well, I was at the beach. I was at the beach and I saw the curve, or I was up a mountain, or I was up a plane and I seen the curve out the window. Well, I'd say to them, well, NASA, they say you need to be 145 miles up before you can start to see any curve, Earth curve. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> how do you, how do you, com how are those two compatible? They're not. Either these people have made a mistake and they've they've just wished, they've just imagined some kind of curve. And if you even need mm. to think about it, if you, if you stand on the beach and let's just say you can see 180 degrees of flat line, even if there was a curve there curving off left to right and you extrapolate that curve down, it goes goes down behind you. It wouldn't actually, you can't extrapolate a curve. You'd have to be 145 miles up before you can start to do that. And that you'd mm -hmm. see a big ball there. <clears throat> so... Triangulation, you know, with, with theodolites, um, the surveyors that admit there's, they don't factor in a curve into their calculations, or those people that say oh, the Coriolis effect for snipers and stuff. That it's, again, it's just a, it's a myth. It's an urban myth. They don't factor in any Coriolo, Coriolis effect, Earth spin. What the flat earthers are, are arguing are that it is a flat plane. So all of these triangulations that, that you're recording, and it goes on to your kind of CAD system, which again is flat. In, in a CAD world, it can be flat or it can be curved. And then, mm -hmm. then, you, then you kind of wrap it around a theoretical geoid and mm -hmm. to, get your, to get your end results, yeah. So they're saying that that's what's happening to our, to our when you look at a, a globe in a classroom. You're actually looking at the flat earth plan wrapped around a ball that's all that's mm. happened you've just yep. wrapped but um you know that's another one of their arguments is that the un flag all of these um governmental abcs and that they have a flat earth model as a flag have you seen that obviously no that, well it's the it's called the Azim azimuthal equidistant map and it's a projection looking straight down at the north pole and and oh and uh, yeah up. Like yeah, a yeah, yeah, I do, I do yeah. know that one, yeah. Right, well, so the, for the UN flag, it's a blue background with this flat earth map, and it's got a target, like a, there's 33 sectors on the, on that target. I mean, again, it's these conspiracy ideas, 33 is this, you know, Illuminati, Freemason degree number, mm -hmm. and, and a flat earth model is, is hidden in plain sight. You know, mm -hmm. and um, it is an accurate map for aviation. All of the longitude lines are correct, and and mm -hmm. I was trying, going to try and tell you that the problems with this flat Earth model is when you come to where you live, 
down in the southern hemisphere or the, the southern plain <clears throat> it's all stretched out because it's like taking the ball earth and making it flat you, you've created more space yeah. yeah you have issues um, with and it's the same with the projection that we currently use on on flat maps for the spherical earth is that we have like russia being way bigger than it actually is and japan yeah. being a lot smaller than it actually is the so, make, yeah the, 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 the different projections yeah i understand the different projections but uh, what i'm what i'm is there anything besides like pointing out things that are like you know wrong with our current model of the spherical model or um what people's ideas are is there anything that we can do to test with what you would call hard sciences like for me and you because I, I know that you can, like, for example, you can point to the Bible and say, you know, the Bible's cosmology is, is, says it's flat, but I, I can't do that because I don't believe yeah. in the Bible as, a, mm. as an inherently um, truthful document. So I'm wondering, is there anything that we can do besides the Bible uh, and besides looking at the lies from NASA or looking at the problems of the spherical Earth to actually prove, or not prove, but give evidence for a flat Earth? or a spherical earth yeah um and maybe we can maybe like we are coming up to an hour um maybe what we could do is if, if you can't think of something right now maybe we could uh, have another conversation and we could actually try and try some of these experiments or try try to work some some of this this out and agree and agreed upon idea to, to try and test if, if it is, is actually possible to prove a flat earth, uh, not prove but give evidence for a flat earth or a or a spherical earth yeah well just that one i mentioned at the start of the conversation which was the the longest distance photography landscape photography mm -hmm. uh, winner current winner and um it, it shows a flat earth it, when you compare it to the google earth view it it's it's warped and mm -hmm. the, this mountain is hidden over the curvature nine miles of hidden curvature that should be there that isn't and it mm -hmm. can't be explained away with with optics, you know, with distortion, mirroring, all mm -hmm. this. It just it is what it is. So, so would you say that the, the you can only see nine nine miles even with the best cameras? No, I'm saying that over 275 miles distance, the mountain that's in the background it's it's two miles high. Yeah, should be, it should be nine miles over the curve, hidden oh, okay. from from view. Okay. But it's not. Yep. It's there. It's fl and there's other military photographs taken in the Is 1950s of using um, ultraviolet infrared, sorry, cameras that from like a military optics, and they they, they took 470 odd miles in a straight line, showing so, showing it flat. Do you trust flat. the mil Do you trust the military? experiments uh, well no i'm just trying to say that you've got to add all these things up and then you've got all these high altitude balloons that go right mm -hmm. up to, i think it's a hundred thousand feet is the probably the maximum so far nasa is the biggest user of helium by the way they, mm -hmm. in the whole world nasa and so these when these c cameras go up there it's a flat level all the way around you, you're not seeing i can't like the top of a you know, it's, it's, it's all an illusion that people expect to see, but when they see fisheye lens, that they, they'll see a curved um, horizon and they'll think that that is the curve of the earth. And it's not, it's just a distorted lens. When, when the lens mm. points down the way, it makes an inverted. And when it points mm. up, you know, so yeah, yeah. these things have to be ruled out. But people don't get confused as to what they're seeing. When you go all the way up without a fisheye lens and the camera looks all the way around 360 it's just a straight line it's the horizon just limiting horizon so so okay so so when so when you just to touch quickly just because it's interesting is the when satan bring jesus up to see onto a tall mountain so they could see every city was that completely allegorical or could he just see the local cities in the area do you think well i think it was um the world the word world in the bible that's either the word cosmos which is actually not the cosmos as we now use that word the cosmos just meant the kind of their world 
their local area that, that okay. as far as they would travel need to travel okay Maybe and would, yeah. what what did you say before was the limit of that you can see with the human eye you mentioned some formula yeah well as you if i'm six foot plus right so when i stand and look out at, at the horizon like a beach right i'm, and yeah. I'm looking at the sea right well what you see is the ground ramping up towards eye level mm -hmm. in front of you. So it looks like a wall of water mm -hmm. at the beach. Yep. It's, that's perspective, okay? And that distant edge that you can see of the of the waves, it's only about two and a half miles away. That's your limit. Okay. Of, yeah, and as you climb, if you were to get on a balloon and be lifted up, then that distance would increase. It would become... Mm -hmm two and a half miles it would yeah so you so the higher you get the further you're able to see but and so so jesus was taken do you know what which mountain in was it in says, jerusalem yeah, even if it even if it was uh, mount everest it doesn't say the highest mountain just says a very high mountain okay um he would probably be seeing like that that picture i sent you it's in the alps i think that's about ten thousand feet and, and okay. you're looking over towards Italy from France to Alps to the French to the Italian. Yeah. Alps. Yeah. So I'll um I'll I'll quickly just um just just to wrap up um uh, I'll, I'll I'll look up this this image that you've sent um oh. and I'll actually show it on screen so people can see what we're talking about. Yeah. Um. um there are other images, that's what I'm saying. And like I said at the start, an image isn't proof of anything, but that's a normie contest. It's, these people aren't. Yeah. Flat. It's just yeah, yeah. what we can it's, see. It's, it's just something that, um, and it's not, yeah, yeah, okay. I, I think I understand um, what you're saying. Let me just find it. Where is it? Um, I could probably send it to you again. I mean, if I can just briefly say what I think the flat earth is for people. It, it, yeah, you know, that'd, be, that'd, be, that'd be fantastic. Yeah. You know, I'll just describe that as you're pulling this picture up. So if you imagine a pizza and, and it's a, like a, with a thick crust around uh, the outside, the thick crust would be the Antarctic ice shelf. And then the Antarctic actually rises to two miles high. It's like a plateau. So it, it's a crusty exterior around this pizza shape and in the center you've got your north pole there's no south pole all the whole edge of the antarctic would be like a ring magnet south pole yeah <clears throat> and anyway the sun and the moon are like the hands of the clock rotating clockwise around and the sun is about 30 miles in diameter and maybe 2000 miles up and it's a localized <clears throat> people i was having this argument in the in the chat conversation there was the guy was saying that well if the sun was a flat earth you'd see the sun 24 hours a day and the thing is you, you wouldn't you couldn't see an object 30 miles across from britain looking over towards australia because the atmosphere is in the way for starters it's like clouds and <clears throat> water vapor and you can't see through that you, and to this angle this angle you know, to make 2,000 miles ab above Australia, for example, viewing from the UK, that angle, um, it's, it's difficult to explain to people because it's such a contrast, like a, a sun that's 93 million miles away and, and, and this gigantic um, alleged um, nuclear furnace, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's that totally contrasts with this tiny little thirty mile diameter ball. It's not it's not a nuclear reactor. It's some kind of plasma, and again, it's not even the actual sun because we call it the apparent sun. Because when you try and triangulate the sun, it's not there. It's like it's an illusion. Like maybe it's yeah. a, ref a reflection off of this so called dome that they call. They think that the the, the pizza is covered with a bowl, a glass bowl. <clears throat> and there's water above this uh, above this glass bowl, right? Um, so the water's above and the water's below. That's this biblical idea, right, <clears throat> of this small localized <clears throat> earth, right? And um, 
yeah, it's just I like this flat earth. It's easy to understand. That's what when you actually get down to know it, it you can visualize what's when you look up at the sky and the sun, you can sort of see how it's working. The, the sun and the moon, and it seems much more doable than this big bang, heliocentric um, expanse that's there. I don't believe that there's an expanse there. It's inside this pudding bowl that's over the top of the pizza, if you like. Everything's mm -hmm. sw swirling around. The, the like the bowl itself is swirling. The Earth is stationary. So. That, that's the two contrasting ideas. I mean, I know fine well what the, the ball earth is. I mean, I grew up with it. So, and I mm. had to actually learn more about it during my flat earth studies. I needed to work out exactly what they're claiming. And, mm -hmm. and, and yeah, it does have the issues as well with parallax and stuff and these huge distances. And the fact that they've changed the distance of the sun over so many years anyway. It's like they're just still guessing. It's, so, these are ideas that they're putting out there. If, if uh, So as far as I understand, when it comes to scientific theories or scientific ideas, the the gold standard is the is the concept of novel testable predictions. Like, can we make novel testable predictions from a model? And I don't know if you agree with that uh, or not. But if if your if the model doesn't work, if the flat Earth model model doesn't work, sometimes couldn't we just say? There is no flat Earth and there is no spherical Earth. It's just we don't have an answer yet. Well, that's it. It could even be that this is all just um, like this matter that, that we see in front of us. That that that's just an an illusion. Like the Buddhists think that some you know, mm -hmm. a really high level of of energy. This is all just energy, and and we're interacting with energy fields. And and it, okay. to us, you know, it's, it could be anything. But to get stuck. So, and one thing, and then it totally fight mm. the other group is. So, so scient scientifically, would would I, would I be correct in, in correct in saying, and correct me if I'm wrong, but um, that it's not so much that you believe in a flat Earth; it's just that you see problems with the spherical Earth, and the flat Earth has some interesting ideas that you like. However, there's some problems with that as well. Well, yeah, I mean, the problems are. I'm talking from a scientific perspective only. So, yeah, I mean, exactly. of course, you've also got the Bible as well, and. Mm. Well, uh, the Bible's on it, so uh, just to go with the science, like, for instance, the, the problem with the flat Earth thing is um, the distances now created along the periphery of where the Antarctic ice shelf is and, and, and Australia. The, these areas, when the sun moves round, <coughs> the, a physical object like a sun like a ball, even if it was 30 miles in diameter, moving in it, clockwise around that area, it would have to speed up to cover the larger areas that's been produced now because you've spread out the, map, the ball into a flat plane. Well, people have said, right, show us the 24-hour sun from the South Pole, okay, to, to match the one that you can get from the North, where you can actually see the sun never sets for three days um, on the North Pole. Well, you can do the same, allegedly, for the South Pole. But the thing is, when you, if you look for footage, video footage of that event, it's totally faked. I'm not joking. They've faked it. And then they've made this, from from their station down there, they've taken, like, um, CCTV pictures, stills, mm. and they've made a composite of these shadows, and you can watch the shadows moving around like a clock, 24 hours. No, the, the, they jump and cut it so that it's a different day, and, 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 and ice storms come in, and you can't see it for a, for a, a few weeks and stuff. It's crazy. They, they can't actually prove. What, that, why, that, why wouldn't they just use special effects in that situation? That's, why wouldn't they just make a cartoon? Well, that's what they've done. They've made a cartoon of the 24-hour sun. It's not but didn't real. you say that? Didn't you say that the the that you could see an ice storm that came through for a little while? Yeah. Why it's wouldn't like, they just instead of setting up a camera and all that? Why wouldn't they just do it all with special effects? How do you mean? No, I'm well, saying, instead, yeah. Instead of set, instead of setting up a camera and then having to contest with an ice um, storm that comes through and then people saying, "Oh, well, it's fake because you can't see anything during the ice storm." Why wouldn't you just create a perfect example? 
in um, CGI of well, the 24 hour sun. Because you want to well, improve, you want to have scientific evidence, and if you use but, video as proof of that, you'd have a, you'd have a, you'd have but, a, why, why would you make a cartoon of it? That wouldn't be real. No, no. What, what you're saying that there is, are you saying that there is footage of um, you know this this dial that you can see and and the sun that you can see for twenty four yeah, so hours. What, yeah, if you go um, to twenty four hour sun in the Antarctic, that's what you come up with. It's it's like uh, ice station Antarctica, and they've got a camera that's looking down on their tents and sheds, and there's flagpoles in the ground, and as the sun is moving around in the twenty in the twenty four hours of the day, the shadow on cast by the flagpole moves around but it doesn't do a prop it's not like um it's like they've cut it and spliced it so yeah this is the one I'm, this is the one this that's is fake yeah so look at the mountain yeah and there's snow on the mountain and and mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a cloud like this cloud here right because i've already this has already been debunked mm -hmm. to be short yeah right so this mountain this these uh clouds here and the sun's just come out from the, the mountain. Right? Remember that, because when it comes round to the other side, it's the same cloud. They just cut. They've just spliced so it. What What I'm saying is, why wouldn't they just all of They're, this instead of setting up a yeah. camera? Why wouldn't they just do it in a studio where, well, they, could, where they where they wouldn't have to use the same clouds? Or why wouldn't they use just a different cloud? Why would they reason, create... the, They've just like well, watch it anyway, because um, that's this has been debunked. And you can see how the, there is no twenty-four hour sun. That's that's why, and it's so, some kind of projection. I'm, I'm, the sun is it's some I'm, kind of projection. It's not a physical object. It could be kind of plasma. We don't know because we've not had long enough. The, the, we're being dominated by this kind of Jesuit Freemason lockdown I, of academia. And, I'm, and, I'm still. I'm still just confused, though, why they wouldn't just use complete CGI because it seems silly to film because something we, like this. Yeah, and then not... it seems silly to film something like this and then use post processing um, with clouds and things like that, and then do you reuse the same clouds? Keep keep, keep so why, going because it's not got that? it's not got to the bit yet. So it's just going behind the mountain. No, mm -hmm. right, freeze it there. There, there's the same clouds that as they, the start as the start yeah so is it is it possible that they just re, re loop the video at this point i think so i mean but that doesn't that doesn't seem because it's already gone 360 degrees around right well it's yeah gone right around it's back then, to the same spot but, so but that's what i mean but it it's not really proof though is it it could just be some kind of manipulation I mean, it, it could be, but but I guess what I'm, yeah, I, I, it could be anything. But I guess what I'm asking is, if the the goal of these of these people was to to set up a a, a, a fake experiment that would prove this 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 the sun, why wouldn't they just do it all in a lab, like in where they could uh, well, create they perfect conditions that were undebunkable in in the video? Because it wouldn't be. It's like the moon. The the they proved. They said they went to the moon and they, they played golf on the moon and they took photos of the earth and and that's their proof and that was all done on the stage, do you know? Okay. Was, so this is what this is what I think they're doing that they're, they're hiding the flat earth from us because mm. that's what's actually there. But the because that's where God is. God is actually it's a it's a real thing. This is a real. We're inside His creation. It's not like a big expanse, fifteen million billion light years across universe expanding mm. into nothingness it's, it's a, just a localized event we're here and now in this realm and um and there's more to life than just um, you know materialism mm. um, and i think that can, can i just read uh, as we're getting near the end of this there's a quote from yeah a strong let's let's um let's finish up but read the quote as we finish up because um i think this has been an interesting conversation i'll be i'll be willing to have a chat again because uh, i think this is this topic is, is is big enough to do that um if if that's something you'd be interested in i'd love to to, to chat again um and i'll uh, but um and we can exchange emails but as we finish up yeah read your uh quote yeah okay thanks for that um so astronomer sir fred hoyle he was, um, I think he was the astronomer to the Queen. 
you know, like, and so anyway, astronomers of Fred Hoyle sums it up, quote, Today we cannot say that the Copernican theory is right and that the Ptolemaic theory is wrong in any meaningful sense, dot, dot, dot. Science today is locked into paradigms. Every avenue is blocked by beliefs that are wrong. And if you try to get anything published in a journal today, you will run up against a paradigm and the editors will turn you down. Close quote. So the, the Ptolemaic theory and the Copernican theory, they're the opposites of, you know, the heliocentric versus geocentric. And, mm -hmm. you know, he, this is mod, he's a modern scientist. He's a modern astronomer. When you look up at the stars, you know, we've got these images now from NASA of these beautiful planets in, in detail. Allegedly, they put landers on some of these planets and taken like Mars photos of Mars and things. And we've now, but when you look up with your own eyes on a telescope, it's just a fuzzy world up there. It could be anything, and you can't. You cannot say that. That it's just your objective viewpoint. That that you either go into these camps of uh, heliocentric or geo geocentric, globe flat. I just um. It's like an all an illusion, really. At the end of the day, because because we can't actually prove it, really. Mm. That's how I see it. Okay. Well, um, thanks so much uh, for coming on and chatting, um, Nimble Horse. I'll, um, I'll, are you okay with me using this um, interview in its entirety on my YouTube channel? Um, yeah, awesome. Um, well, thanks for coming on, and it was interesting learning about um, your beliefs, and I look forward to getting more into it in, in the future. I think I have a, I think I have a better understanding of uh, the basics of what you believe. Uh, and it'd be interesting to to continue um, in, in the conversation and how you believe those things. Uh, but okay. um, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah.